Hi everybody. Today I'm going to do something really, really simple. I'm going to show you how to make this introduction for your videos in LumaFusion. And it's based on uh, an earlier video that I did, which was the typewriting effect. So let's get into this and I'll show you exactly how it works. This is what it looks like in LumaFusion. The short sections are the letters and the long section is the uh, full name and the tutorial section that goes underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first section, just duplicate it and I'm going to move it further down the timeline and start from the beginning once again. Now if I double click on this and open it up, you'll be able to see exactly what I've done. I've put three keyframes in. The first keyframe, the size of the letters are at 100%. The second keyframe, I've made it up to 400%. And the third keyframe, back down to 100 And that makes the letter pop as you're watching it. Now, I've gone back to the timeline, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that. Then I'm going to double click on the one I've just duplicated and as you can see there's a letter P. Double click on the P and I'm going to change it for a letter E and then once again back to the timeline so I've got P then E. Just make sure everything's working and I'm going to duplicate again and I'm going to re repeat the process. So double click on the E, change the E to a T and then once again go back to the timeline and you just carry on like that all the way through quite easy really once you've set the first one up the other three just follow along and all you do is just keep changing the letter dead easy so I'm not going to go all the way through and show you how to do every letter you've got the basic principle of it And if you look, I've also um, made a space for the space between the words Peter and also. So I've got that gap in between my, my name. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the second part where my name comes along with the line underneath and then it says tutorial. So once again, this is all done with keyframes. And as you can see, the keyframes there reveal the line and reveal the section underneath that says tutorials. And all I've done is I've gone to crop in, set the crop just below my name, put a keyframe in. That keyframe re um, reveals the line and then I've put another keyframe in underneath that reveals the tutorials. And that's it, Bob's your mother's brother. So if you want to know how to make this uh, typewriter effect, just come along in the bottom corner of the screen here, like I did at the start of this video, I will show you how to do that as well. It's dead easy, really. But, you know, every day's a school day, so they say. <laughs> so let's crack on and I'll show you how to do that as well while I'm here. So I've just got a short, a bit of video I took with one of the twins and this is the effect that I'm talking about. It's quite easy really. All you do is you drag it on top. Now if it's on top, as I move the timeline along you can see that it's just black. You can't see anything. So I'm going into uh, size and position and I'm going to reduce the size down to how big I want it and as you see it reveals the video underneath and I'm going to place it roughly where I want it and then I'm going to go to blending and I'm going to change the blend mode to screen and as you can see that gets rid of the black behind the lettering and then I'm just going to go back to uh, size and position and I'm just going to alter the position just slightly there you go that's it and that's it, finished. Dead easy. Told you it was going to be a dead easy video today. And that's it, that's all there is to it. 
So if you found this video interesting, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, please subscribe, and hopefully I will see, where's the camera? The camera is there. I will see you in the next video. See everybody, bye.